Spencer Nagel here with Showflow. Uh, we have the honor and privilege to be interviewing Emily Ladd with the Charlotte Hornets. And we're going to talk with her and ask her a few questions about her world in Showflow. So tell me a little about your role and, and what you do here with the Hornets. So my role here at the Hornets is I'm the senior manager of event presentation. So we handle all of the in-game entertainment and all of the events uh, surrounding the Charlotte Hornets. So between me and my boss, we build all of the game scripts or the show scripts, depending on what it is. And then I specifically floor manage and follow the calls of uh, my boss. And then we obviously run all the events as well. Describe to me your old workflow in Excel. So um, I build the initial scripts and then I would, and I build it in Excel and then I would print it out and I'd give it to my boss. He would make edits and he would give it back and I would go through and I would make those edits. And so we would have that process probably about five or six times leading up to the game and then we do one final edit final edit um, right before the game probably around like noon and then we would print off for everybody and then we'd have our meeting later so that's how we kind of would build our scripts typically in the past so that makes sense talk to me a little bit about what you guys were looking for or what your superiors were looking for in a software besides the time aspect which I think is probably a universal thing the main thing that we were looking for with kind of a software was what's going to make us more efficient that's also not too different than how we normally do things because we didn't really want to start from scratch. We have a good show, we have a good process, we did not want to tear that down and rebuild it. So one good thing about Showflow is that it's we can still keep a relatively same workflow, it's just a lot a lot of the smaller steps have been kind of taken out of it where we can kind of work on things simultaneously and it kind of helps in, in that regard but we didn't have to change really a lot. You guys got started with Showflow. Talk to me about the process, how you like gradually became comfortable with it. It was going from Excel to this, it you know, it took some some learning just like anything would and you know, but really after you spend a couple, you know, twenty minutes, you know, an hour, however long it kinda of takes you to get used to it, you know, once you kind of figured it out and got it, then it was just kind of smooth sailing from there. The transition wasn't as overwhelming as probably a lot of people think again it's just kind of training not, maybe not even training but just educating everybody like it's going to be different now um, you know even our partnerships team they would go in and kind of sniper my scripts and kind of like oh you have this wrong and I'd have to say well it's not done yet so you're just gonna have to wait till we get it finalized so now I can just send them the the link and they're like here's the final script and then they can go through and kind of see if any we missed anything or anything like that so they were a little scared even when they knew they couldn't kind of go in and like I said sniper us but and I'd say that with love but um, <laughs> so yeah it definitely wasn't as overwhelming you just had to kind of talk everybody through it and just tell them it's going to be okay. So the season's coming to an end. Talk to me about some of your favorite features. So when we're in game and we have to we have to call on our audibles, a lot of times we we're not with our show we won't bring something in from another game unless we already have it program somewhere later. Okay. Um, however, what we will do, we do shift things around a lot. So um, whether my boss needs me to change it because he's busy doing other things since he's primarily calls the show and I have to change it around for him or we'll just, he'll just do it himself. The main features we use, obviously everybody tracks him as well or if it's myself when I'm at the table, the being able to kind of live change everything and have that kind of dynamic element of everything automatically shifting around is probably the biggest benefit when we're, when we're within our show. Mm. So show color tracking is one of our main features. Um, talk to me a little bit about how you guys use show color tracking. When it comes to tracking, most of the time, probably about 80% of our games is when I'm in the production corner managing everything over there, getting everything off the floor, and my boss is at the scorer's table. So he's the one that everybody's primarily tracking. So um, our TD and control room will be tracking him. Um, our Everybody in my tunnel is tracking him. I'm the only one that doesn't turn it on because I have to go through and kind of make edits and input some things as he's kind of going so I can kind of work ahead of him a little bit um, but you can still see where he is with that little kind of blue button that kind of goes around and then we've got our TV our monitor and the tunnel as well that's tracking which our DJ really likes I, I guess it's not really ironically but he we've got three DJs so you know when we change things around all the time they're probably the last on the list to kind of find out that we changed something and like, oh no, I don't need your instrumental here, I need something else. So them being able to see it is really great. Um, but just knowing wherever he is in the script is just, you know, helpful all the way around. That's awesome. So it sounds like show color tracking has really been helpful for you guys. So my, I've worked with uh, my boss now for, I think this is our sixth or seventh season together. So we've been able, we've, I, I can read him pretty well. Mm -hmm. So I know when he's gonna either 
call a hot timeout or audible something in, but at the same time, if we just need to input like, okay, this name needs to be put in or whatever, I don't even have to tell him when I'm making changes. I can just say, hey, this season ticket holder name's in there now. And at the same time, everybody else can hear it. And then they know to go in and look like, and then we don't have the spelling problems unless I put it in incorrectly, then it's my fault. <laughs> um, and then we can even put like, you know, the, the phonetic pronunciations and that type of stuff when we have to change, when we don't know when I'm building the scripts or and stuff like that. So having that, even the dynamic editing capabilities within certain, you know, cells or whatever is great. So a lot of teams are moving from a budget of zero in Excel. So how did you jump over the hurdles and navigate that process of actually purchasing a software? Obviously when you have a doing anything for free and you have to consider paying for it from now on, you know, you have to get a handful of people involved. However, you know, given that this was a kind of a top-down initiative from uh, from our VP, you know, he was aware that we were going to have to put some bu some budget dollars towards it. And so once, and they gave us the lead to kind of figure out which one we wanted to go with mm -hmm. and to kind of figure that out because we were the ones that were going to be using yeah. it, which was great. So we just had to, they knew it was going to cost some money. Um, and we just we had to be like, this is how much it is. So we're yep. very fortunate in that regard that they were, you know, aware it wasn't going to come, you know, for you know a hundred bucks or yeah. whatever so so when you guys made the switch was anybody hesitant when we made the switch i was actually one of those people mm -hmm. i wanted to obviously i you know i love my job and so i don't mind spending the time to make our show as perfect as possible um but you know this is my 10th season here and i've been doing excel from the minute i started so i was one of those hesitant people mm -hmm. to actually start off with you know, I liked having that hard copy in my pocket where I could write things down and I could run around and, you know, not worry about breaking a hundred dollar, you know, piece of equipment. <laughs> um, but once we kind of got into it, you know, I kind of realized the value of it and it took a minute. It didn't take a lot of convincing, but we had to convince our crew as well because they, we've been fortunate enough to have the relatively the same crew ever since I've been here as well. So they've been ingrained in that kind of, this is what our script looks like and this is how our show is. So it took some convincing for them too, but I think they would agree that they're, they're all on board now. That's great. So if you had to give me a percentage of time saved, what would you say? I would say it's at least been probably about half. We've been able to really streamline our edit process and the fact that my boss can now even go in and make some of his own edits he doesn't have to go through me because you know with excel once you open a document it's all right whoever's opening that document has can go in and edit it whereas with you know showflow he can just go in and make those changes and then he'll tell me that he did it or we have a kind of color marking system where hey i changed that and he'll change the color so um we've definitely been able to, to streamline that and really have been able to kind of get out of here on a semi-normal basis and when the daylight's still showing. <laughs> Not a lot, but often. So this has been really helpful. Um, I think for us um, in Showflow and what we do, our team, uh, we want to make your job easier. Uh, I think that's important for us to do that as we're continuing to work with teams. And it sounds like we achieved that which is, is really good for us to hear, and we want to continue to do that for you guys. So I appreciate your time, and we look forward to continuing to work with you guys. Showflow has been great for us, you know, with me being the hesitant person at first to kind of make that switch. You know, I've been definitely proven wrong. It's saved us a bunch of time. I think it saved us a bunch of stress as well, and I think um, all of our crew loves it, and I think everyone's really happy that we got it.